Hey, what's up? It's Tricky. I have to write an essay on the book A Chronicle of a Death Foretold, but I don't want to do it. Of course, I don't want to take anything off the internet. I want it to be my own words. And luckily, in class, we've been writing reflections on the chapters as we've been reading them. So what I'm going to do is take work that I've already written, feed it into an AI, and then have it produce an essay using my style of writing. This is, of course, all a fabrication. I haven't had to write essays on books in years, but I do still have those reflections that I wrote in high school, and I'm going to see what kind of output we get. Now, in order to do this, we're going to be using Markov chains. Now, let's look into exactly how those work. So let's look at how a Markov chain works in the context of speech. Let's say here we have a comprehensive tree of all the sentences I've said in the last few minutes. I like Groot, I like cake, I am happy, and I am Groot. We can summarize those sentences with this tree. I sometimes leads to like, and sometimes leads to am. Like leads to Groot and cake, and am leads to happy and Groot. Now it could be that I've said these sentences with different frequencies, and you can see that I is more likely to lead to am than to likes. What we can then do is summarize this in a table, or a matrix, where the word on the left represents the word that I just said, and the word on the top represents the word I'm going to say next. And then the intersection is the likelihood that I go from that first word to that second word. It's not particularly important, but somewhat interesting to note that the diagonals are all zeros. All that means is that the word is not repeated, so I don't say I followed by another I, or am followed by another am. Now the Markov chain has no idea about grammar. It doesn't know that there needs to be a subject followed by a verb and then sometimes with an object or indirect object. It just knows what word is likely to follow given the word that was just said. And because of this, a lot of the sentences are going to sound kind of smooth, but effectively be utter nonsense. So now let's take a look at the code. We'll start by importing NumPy so that we can work with matrices later on. And we only have two functions defined here. The first one is strip string, which just strips a string of a bunch of special characters. And then we have this new page function, which just prints a bunch of new lines so that the terminal output is clean. Then we'll scan a text document and store any data in that text document into a variable called text. In this case, I have a text document which is just full of a bunch of Trump tweets. Then we're going to execute the strip string function, cleaning up that text of all the special characters. And then we're going to separate out that one long string, the entire text document, into a list of words. But in order for the Markov chain algorithm to work, we want to have a bunch of unique words. So here we're going to create a list of just the unique words in the text. Then we're going to create a dictionary assigning each of the unique words a number. And then in this entire section, we're going to create that likelihood matrix that we came up with earlier. So now we can start crafting a response. We'll do this by cycling through one word after the next until we reach a word that ends in a period, a question mark, or an exclamation point. So the next word needs to be assigned at the start. So what is our first word going to be? We're just going to make it some random word in that unique list. Then, while the response doesn't end in a period, exclamation point, or question mark, we're going to continue adding words to the end of the response and print it out. So before jumping into the essay, I wanted to test this out on a couple other corpuses of words. For example, here's the output when I feed the Markov chain a bunch of speeches from former President Obama. It was a strong international consensus to pick the alliance would hold firm to shove their economies so much. I've stood for the world, but we seek a crude stereotype, but my country and Europe. The center of meeting a bomber assembly line, and to say in the enduring faith, and that bear is the world, we must put an enormous trauma to Olympic torture. I do. It devastates Palestinian aspirations to the pain of us. Even with dignity, to celebrate the events of facing down a successful war without a fight to extend support terrorism be found. But it is possible. Into the things the things must put partisan or the past agreements, the need not only upon you. Its former strength of poverty and other side or personal story of this country, but it is a dumb war. Here's the output when I give the Markov chain a bunch of speeches from former President Bush. You. We have studied the spread of their own people. The world in Iraq is engaged in our laws, and release for violating it is to confront the rise of people entering our friends from a friend. We've expedited the liberation they say I congratulate each case requires. Iraq is not one terrorist attacks. Marshall said to share common problems created a diploma deception. The regime was right choices we expected at ever before for every illegal immigrant from the issue. All nations is a threat. May God bless America from occurring. 
Here's the output when I give the Markov chain input from Romeo and Juliet. O oh, gentle as she bid him Tybalt, thou your chamber, I'll be fourteen. That shall be brief to my heart, and yet thy suit capulet in the inundation of breath. Is not Romeo with smell as we mean to Romeo? I'll bury love growing for our woes. Enter, nurse, play heart's ease and abuse. Virtue itself turns vice, there lies asleep. Their music with flowers, the measures of the capulets, down to cheer and her consent, and thee spread thy food as any in the ivy wall. Within this case, to pleading and delight, more. I am too late. And here's some output when I give the Markov chain some input from the Old Testament. This shall put them onto the land of Egypt, the word of his Lord ears devoured him. And I am thy brother Jacob, hath appeared unto the blind, have prevailed, and he died by reason of the people, behold, who put me to give thy daughter of Canaan pleased hammer and Isaac had done. And finally, here's that AI generated essay that I'll be presenting to the class on Chronicle of a Death Foretold. This statement could use the novel. The drive to avoid all used as he included just the human nature of life everyone gossips about it was present in it was even being strongly favored by killing Santiago because of the time. A major theme in his life is the presence of death, and Pedro are expected to defend honor is accused of machismo in the opportunity to gossip. More significantly, however, much like they are not randomly chosen, his religion, our schema. And that's everything. That's the video on how Markov chains can reproduce speech kind of, sort of. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video.